Yo, what up? G strings, it's your boy. <laughs> Frozone. All right, guys, bring you guys a different, um, a different video here today. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people have been actually asking for settings, keybinds, pretty graphic settings. That man, what's your sense? Frozen, what's your sensitivity? Don't you guys worry, I got you. This this video is long, long, long overdue, and I'll keep it a one hundred percent. I'll keep it a buck fifty with you guys. I am not a very technical person. I kind of all my settings and all my bonds have pretty much been the same since I first started playing, and that's literally just because. I wanted more frames. I've been honestly using it since, since the start. So I'm not a super technical person. I don't have a lot of reasons why I have specific things on, but that's just way it be sometimes. So um, it's more so just showing you guys what I have, my keybinds, my settings. So let's get right <clears throat> into it. All right, keyboard and mouse. My mouse sensitivity is on 5.41. All this stuff is on default at 1.0. I don't know why. That's just the way it's been. That's the way I put it. You know, that's just the way it is. 5.41 um there's really no specific reason why it's at 5.41 and my mouse dpi is at 800 so 800 dpi 5.41 relative ads mouse sensitivity with 1.0 1.0 and the gradual and monitor monitor distance coefficient i think 1.33 is default i'm not 100 sure but that's what i'm on 1.33 for that moving over to movement all right so when you're sprinting to uh to slide you just have to tap your crouch button basically that's that's what i have i have toggle for crouch and same with prone as well that way you don't have to hold it so um for my keybinds i use pretty much default for almost every single keybind um here on the keyboard and mouse so prone left control it took me a little bit to get used to doing it but since my fingers on shift all the time for sprint i don't use um i do not use tactical sprint i just use um sprint like the textual sprint with uh left shift and so since my fingers are, my pinky's on left shift already i can just put the side of my left pinky down i hit left control for prone so it's actually pretty quick in pro my mouse and keyboard it's actually so much better than controller because you don't have to go through the crouch stage in order to prone so pretty much default all around um i think default for use or interact is f in most games i change mine to e so got all those nothing nothing too crazy nothing too different i have changed my my lethal equipment on to q and my tactical equipment to g that's what i've used and then i also have my field upgrade like dead silence stopping power trophy systems whatever it may be um on the number two so there's that overlays and shortcuts scoreboard i think is tab yeah to tab to open up the scores map is m ping his middle mouse button the best thing in this game you guys the best thing in this game when you're landing in the helicopter or sorry the airplane or whatever f10 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 meets your game volume and it is a lifesaver because every everything is so fucking loud in this game so f10 menu navigation listen guys navigate to next tab to take this off you do not want this this is when you open up a little drop and it goes to the default section first and then you have to click over to your section and then you can pick your class you don't want that. You want to just have just your class. So navigate to the next tab, take this off, and your gravy, just yours will pop up. So, all right, for general settings, I play 120 FOV with independent, man. Now, independent versus affected, it's a personal preference. I've been using independent since the beginning of time. I personally like independent. If I were to switch to affected, I would need to drop my FOV to probably like 100, 110, maybe somewhere around there. But I excel in long range gunfights, so I want that little extra ADS zoom um, for that, um, for those kills, for those long range fights. But there are a lot of positives to using the affected FOV. So that will definitely help you out with close range gunfights. Basically, when you ADS, you just don't zoom in, and um, it's, it's actually really, really good. So brightness 50%. I think a lot of this stuff is just default. Colorblind, disabled, subtitle. I don't play subtitles on. I think that shit's mad annoying. Um, mini map. You want your shit to be on a square. You can actually see so, 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 so much more on those. So graphics, you guys. Graphics. All right. I'm actually on a 2080 Ti. I upgraded recently, and I haven't changed my graphics settings back. I know I probably should be playing on uh, full screen, but every time I play on full screen and I'm tabbing up or I'm going to my other monitor, the game minimizes. It, fucking blows actually to be quite honest with you so i just keep it on full screen part of this i still get around 
140 frames, to be honest, which, I mean, isn't horrible, but could be worse. Could be better, though, you know? Um, render resolution always needs to be at 100, from what I know, I guess. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Custom frame rate, I kind of just put unlimited. That way I can try to get as many frames as possible. All right, I don't really know why I have these all on, like, nor I just don't have them on super high, but I have them on normal. And then, you know, if, if everything's a higher quality, you're not going to get a lot of frames. It's just not ideal. So, pretty much everything's either on medium or low for pretty much all of these settings. You want shadows disabled, in my opinion. That's pretty much almost every game, I feel like. Okay, anti-aliasing, I personally like it off. A lot of people think I'm weird. A lot of people think I'm crazy. But I personally like it off. So, you'll definitely... Um, get a little, a few more frames if you take it off, but it looks like shit until you get used to it. I'm used to it, but anytime I turn anti aliasing back on, man, I get nauseous, bro. I can't stand that. So definitely, um, up to you guys. So, and I'm not sure which setting it was. That's what I use. Um, filmic strength, I have it on zero. Emotion blur, you never, ever, ever, ever in the history of ever want that enabled. So take those off. And also, I have film grain down to zero. Again, these settings are probably way, way, way different from a lot of other people. This is just what I have. This is what I've been using. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, audio settings. I play on Boost Low Audio Mix. Um, this is the one that I found that works best for me, um, personally. Um, so I just continue to use that. Master volume. I mean, all this is kind of dependent on your headset, your headset volume, your mix amp, your you know your amplifiers, whatever. Um, I have my ads, my headset plugged into a. Uh, um, I had uh, an amplifier, so that's why I use all this like this. So, I personally put my hit markers on classic. You can make them sound like um, the gamer. I don't even know what it sounds like. It's it's a weird sound, but I like the uh, the classic hit markers. So, you know, all these all these voice chat settings or sorry audio settings really come down to your headset and stuff like that. So, I think I cover pretty much everything. Pretty much every type of every um, setting. So. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this helped you guys out. If you guys um do like the video, feel free to like um the video. Comment down below again, man. Um, if you guys think if you if this video helped you out, just 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 let me know. You know the comments definitely help us um go a long way pushing the the videos into a what a better algorithm or however that works. I have no idea, man. You know. I just do what I'm told. Again, guys, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic day. Um, hopefully this stuff helps you out. Hopefully it just guides you. I know a lot of people are trying to switch to mouse and keyboard. The only way to get good at mouse and keyboard is to practice, 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 practice.